Hello everyone! Welcome to another session of Nexperia's Quick Learning Video. So this is again Dingyan Doc working as a technical manager and a package architect located in Nexperia, Manchester. So today what I'm going to tell you is all about our LFPAC 56D in half-bridge configuration. As most of us know, half-bridge circuits are commonly used for automotive application. Most of the application on demand but not limited are three-phase motor control or DC-DC conversion. To realize a hybrid circuit topology, you will need a two MOSFET device. One of them is the high side and the other one is the low side. So what you're going to do is just to connect the source of the first device towards the drain of the second device. Then a package architect had an option to form the physical connection inside or outside the package. It all depends how the customers are going to sign it on, the, on their board. One of our common approaches in Nexperia to help our customers to decide is to work with them closely so we can understand how our products, our packets are being used in their applications. So with current LFPAC 5060 package, for example, that was designed for single channel operation, such as engine control, we understand that some of our customers are also using these packages to an application that requires a hybrid circuit, such as a three-phase motor control. So they establish the hybrid circuit through the microvias and PCB truck outside the package. So, opportunity for our customers to save further space to form hybrid circuit in their module without changing the package size. We designed a product with hybrid option to suit with their application, giving advantage of efficient board design and space savings. But of course, it's always aligned with the power SO8 standard footprint. So, to form the hybrid circuit inside an LFPAC 5060 package, we achieved this using an integrated bridge copper clip inside the package without compromising the performance, connecting the source of the first device going towards to the drain of the second device. So aside from having a unique integrated clip design inside the package, the LFBAC 56D half-bridge version will also give advantage of having pin-out option which is applicable for putting or for checking the sense or Kelvin. It depends again on the customer's application. So this table shows the difference between the 56D hybrid and the LPAC 56D dual. So you will quickly observe the advantage in footprint as it doesn't need additional micro bias space on PCB. So as an, as an impact of discounting the bias, an approximately 30% will be gained in board space using our package version. So furthermore, since we've designed the package using a copper clip, with gullwing leads, it is important to emphasize that all the recognized features that we have on the LFPAC family were incorporated in this package version, such as it still contains an exposed lead, which is really good for automatic optical inspection. Again, what I mentioned a while ago about the flexible leads using a gullwing, which is really good for board level reliability. And the most important is the use of the copper clip which we all know that is very good for reducing the RDS on, reducing the impedance, uh, inductance, and also, on the other hand, it improves the ID max. So thank you very much for watching this video. For more information, you can visit nextperia.com.